Okay, we're at set three of my Tai Chi practice. I've been doing this on and off for 40, 45 years. I took the biggest break after my, I had a combination of ailments. The vertigo, the Meniere's disease, came on pretty suddenly. Well, it hadn't really. I had noticed I had lost balance uh, doing trials, motorcycle events, vintage trials, that I couldn't make turns right, and I had a little uh, scatterbrained when I was riding. I, I didn't know if it was a distraction or if I had been not paying attention. And motorcycles, by the way, racing motorcycles is one of the clearest forms of meditation that I have found is you cannot be thinking about anything else. In fact, you're really not thinking when you're racing. You're being that. And Tai Chi kind of steps in there. The neat thing about Tai Chi is if you make a mistake and stumble a little, a little bit, look a little foolish, you don't die. And in motorcycle racing, you can. You can really get hurt, too. But at any rate, uh, I started feeling the effects of the vertigo really harshly around 2003. And funny, it coincided with a, a bleed out in my left eye due to uh, presumed ocular histos uh, histoplasmosis. And it's an interesting disease. They ended up having to cauterize the macula on my left eye. So I lost, I'm technically blind in the left eye, which added more problems to the balance and the vision things at night. Without light or a horizon, I have a tendency to fall down, have to crawl back to my tent if I'm out in the wilderness. But I've been able to handle it. And I found that getting back into the practice of Tai Chi, after about a five year, I dismissed it. I dismissed activities in general. I basically just did walks with a cane and, and tried to maintain some physicality any way I could so I wasn't spinning or feeling uh, nauseous. And I gave in to pity on that. So Tai Chi has kind of come back and helped me quite a bit. I don't do the deep stances. Part of that's because I've had four knee surgeries and I don't want a fifth one. I don't... Uh, get in I don't want to do the real picking opera hand movements and everything that and I love it though I, I absolutely love truly performance art Tai Chi I, I've got some video links that I usually put on my stuff but the Tai Chi has helped me with the balance it forces me to try to bounce you can kind of see it when I'm doing my form it helps me with my breathing, of course, calmness, breathing. When fear comes up that you're not doing some right, I tend to get angry when I, and Tai Chi has helped me immensely in letting that go. Don't, don't let fear turn to anger. Just stumble on through it and pick back up again. It's an easy thing to learn if you learn, if I learn to let go. But Tai Chi has helped me immensely. This third set, I hope, is an improvement over the first two sets that I had shown. And I intend to, to improve my physicality and start showing more, uh, more of the style, more of the energy, a uh, little deeper stances, maybe a, a little bit more uh, physicality in the forms, as long as I don't get hurt. I have to pay attention to that. Um, I thank you for your patience. If you have anything, issue, in, interest in my Tai Chi or want to talk about ailments, Meniere's disease, um, any kind of injury you're trying to overcome, knee problems, uh, the physicality involved with Tai Chi, you don't have to do the deep stance. You don't have to really uh, do a, a, a highly stylized form. You can be easy at this. The thing is, the breathing and the calmness and uh, just the practice makes it better. Thank you.